All right, I know I said I wasn't gonna do car videos, and of course that's eating my last words. So if anybody wants to know, uh, ECU on the JZX100 is in there. Uh, pull out the glove box, it's got a couple of screws up top here. Um, then there's actually like one screw down here that holds it in right there. Um, then the whole thing comes out, they've got some of these expando pop rivet things that I still haven't figured out how to get out, I just pried them out, which is likely not the right way to do it. Um, but like the whole bottom piece comes out. And then I pull back this intake duct piece and the ECU sits in there with the 10 mil that goes there and 10 mil it's there. Uh, throttle computer, pardon the farting sounds, goes right here. Uh, another 10 millimeter up here and then a 10 millimeter down here. Uh, actually really easy to get out if you have tools, which I didn't, so I was using an adjustable, which is fun. So to follow up on the earlier, screw, 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 and then there was screw down there, which is covered up by these little pop rivet duders. Uh, so probably best to take those out, but then everything else comes out with it, holding it comes in one piece. All right, so on my ECU uh, 1JZGT, uh, which I don't think really matters, the ET is for automatic, obviously. Uh, and this comes off with a bunch of screws. And uh, if you notice, I don't know if I can zoom in on this one pretty good. Uh, I had to actually take my uh, Dremel and cut into it and I actually bent non-cutting knife to, to try to get these out. These these were on, I mean I'm pretty sure most of them were on from the factory, although so if you look at this this guy right here, you notice there's some copper wrapped around it. Uh, which I'm not sure why. Not sure what purpose that serves, but uh that was on, on the ECU when I took it out. So I don't know if someone's been in there before and just over tightened them. Uh, I just could not get all of these off. I didn't really feel like stripping them any more than I already had to. Um, but this is what the ECU looks like. Uh, not that bad, but what I found out is the capacitors on these go bad all the time. There you go, this guy right there. If you notice, it's a little brown and charred. Uh, so it looks like the capacitor leaked. Not sure if I want to try to clean this up and salvage the ECU. So I uh, went on to Yahoo Auctions Japan and it was about, currency corrected, 200 bucks shipped. Uh, should be here any day now. Um, but I might still try to repair this one, see if I can get it working again. Uh, what's happening is the air conditioning, whenever you turn it on, the car just starts misfiring and running poorly until it eventually just dies. Um, and also one that came up recently was the, what, ECTS and ET, e, e, ECT or snow, whatever, like there's all sorts of lights. Let's see if I can put in a video of that. Um, but then also, someone told me it might be the the throttle controller, which is this guy right here. Uh, again, uh, all of the screws are on pretty tight, but I managed to at least get this off. And this comes up pretty easily with a couple of screws. Uh, capacitors all look all right. Um, I did find some like juice underneath them. They were like a little bit wet where you'd like touch it and uh, there's a little bit of spooge on it. Um, so it looks like the traces and everything are still fine. I don't see any actual damage to the circuit board. Um, uh, ironically, I still think this is a, a drive-by cable, I swear. I don't understand what this is for. Or maybe it's just the, uh, traction control system, but, um, this is about like, three or four hundred dollars which is more than I want to spend. So for about 30 bucks shipped on Yahoo Auctions Japan, uh, shout out Mike, thanks for uh, walking me through all that. Um, I got a whole set of, <coughs> excuse me, of capacitors. So I'm gonna desolder and solder those in, but I don't want to do that until the new ones come in. And if I can verify it's just the ECU or not, 
Um, so hopefully it's just as simple as popping a new ECU and then soldering these new capacitors. They are directional, so it matters which way you put them in. Thankfully, I was smart enough to put uh, soldering items inside of my quick baggage. So I should be able to do this, I think. Oh, buddy. I should have put this back together and I will. Why is everything so hot? For the record, it's 97 degrees. Conditioning works now. Uh, if I can hit the button, does it turn off? Ooh, if I hit the buttons, it works. <gasps> Maybe I fixed it. Maybe it's fixed. Let's see if it works. So far, air conditioning is very weak. But I have no lights on the dashboard, so I'm happy. I think the automatic locking system was locking several times, which sounded weird. I am passing an R33 GTR, so this has the badge. Uh, how do I turn it down? There you go. Yeah, cold. All right, so I think the capacitors in the throttle module, which I still have no idea what it does, uh, is, they're leaking, but they haven't, I don't think they've destroyed anything yet, so maybe they're still capaciting, or as the Japanese call it, kondensas and condensing. Um, so I am still gonna replace those. Uh, they're still in the mail. I need, I need this to, to make it to work. Um, so I think I'll just leave that for a wee bit. So far it looks like this, this fixed my uh, problem, which, to be honest, you know, it never, it's never this easy. It, it's, it's never like, oh, it's probably that. And you order the part and, and then it, and, and you put it in. Uh, but, no. Uh, it looks like the internet was right. So I'm pretty happy. Again, still gonna replace that, the condensas on the throttle module. Um, air conditioning is finally starting to kick in, so I'm pretty happy about that, so, uh, oh, oh, oh that's burnt, okay, yeah, that's a dead end. All right, following day. Uh, I think I got everything done. Um, I wound up snipping one side of a capacitor, uh, one of the legs off, and then heating up and pulling the capacitor out. Uh, I do not have the desoldering tools that I normally have. I just have a soldering iron that I had to pick up from a local hardware store. Um, and it was a little bit difficult just because it's such a small space. Um, but uh, just be careful of cold solder joints, make sure everything's uh, connected properly. I tested this on the car, so it looks like it's working. Um, gonna recheck some of my connections, but this should be good to go. Uh, all in all, it was, I think, seven capacitors. There's one here, one there, four in a series, and then these two guys here. Um, and the interesting thing was is the replacements I got on Yahoo Auctions was this, the right uh, microfarad 
but the wrong voltages. So like a lot of them were looking for like uh, 15 volts or 16 volts, something like that. And this was rated for what, 30? Yeah, 35 volts. So it's like double the voltage necessary, which like I don't know much about capacitors, but uh, so far it seems to be okay. Um, we'll follow up if things break, but I'm just gonna shove this back in the car. And I think that uh, that's the end of it. I really wish I wasn't working on the car so much that I need as a daily driver, but you know, it is what it is. So thanks for watching everybody. See you next time. Thanks.